In this video tutorial by Isotropic Design, we're going to go over how to install an SSL certificate for free onto your GoDaddy WordPress website. Um, GoDaddy charges $63 per year for an SSL certificate when you can be doing this for free. So we're going to review how to do this using a plugin called SSL Zen, a free SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt and a little bit of manual effort. So right now I am on the GoDaddy SSL page where they funnel all of uh, the GoDaddy users who are hosting their WordPress website on their platform. And you can see that the SSL certificate costs $63.99 per year and then renews at around $79 per year. That's the basic one. For a wildcard SSL certificate, it costs $300 for the first year and then they'll charge you above $300 to renew. That's pretty crazy, especially when you can get a free SSL certificate. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in this video, how to install a free SSL certificate onto your WordPress website hosted on GoDaddy. So in our companion blog post, we go over exactly why you might want an SSL certificate and the route that we go to create SSL certificates. But there's an authority called Let's Encrypt, and they've generated almost a billion certificates for free uh, installed on 200 million websites. So these guys create free SSL certificates. They're a nonprofit organization, and pretty much everybody in the industry uses them. Most web hosts... Uh, will offer a free SSL certificate with automatic renewals. GoDaddy will not, and they will charge you $63.99 to do exactly this. And an SSL certificate is really important because you want your website data to be secure, and we'll talk about this more in the blog post. But if you don't have an SSL certificate, the data that is being transferred between the visitor and the website is not encrypted, so it's impossible uh, for there to be a secure connection. Somebody who is a malicious actor can intercept information such as credit card information without an SSL certificate, steal it and use it for their own gain. So that's why we're going to be installing a Let's Encrypt certificate with SSL Zen. Uh, the SSL Zen plugin will automatically create an SSL certificate generated by Let's Encrypt and then teach you how to install it on your website. So let's get right into the tutorial where we install SSL Zen, follow the wizard, install the SSL certificate, and save 70 bucks. All right, so we are on our WordPress website dashboard. We are under plugins, and we have searched for SSL Zen. We're going to click the Install Now button under the SSL Zen plugin. As soon as it's installed, we're going to click Activate and the plugin will send us to a paywall screen. So this plugin is a free plugin uh, and it offers you a free SSL certificate, but keep in mind that most plugins will try to upsell you on something uh, and this does exactly that. It will check your system requirements and then shoot you to that paywall screen. The paywall screen uh, states that for $29 a year, the premium version, uh, it will automate a couple of the features and functionalities that we're going to have to manually do in this tutorial. So if you're trying to save a lot of time, you can verify domain ownership automatically, install the SSL automatically, and automatically renew the domain certificate. If we're going to go the free route, which is what this tutorial discusses, then everything needs to be done manually. So premium will save you time, but it kind of uh, makes a free SSL certificate not free. It's better than the $70 per year that GoDaddy charges, but at the same time, if you're trying to do it for free, uh, $0 is free, and that's the route that we're going to be taking. So click on the Select Plan button and then review the domain details, which will be your website domain. Enter a contact email that you can access, check off I agree to the terms and conditions, and then hit the Next button. Now it's time to verify the ownership of your domain name. And to do that, you can either choose to go HTTP or DNS. HTTP requires that you create two folders in your WordPress directory and then upload a verification file, while DNS has you add a text record to your DNS records. 
It says seven minutes on DNS and it says 10 minutes on HTTP, but keep in mind that DNS can take anywhere from a couple minutes to 48 hours to propagate. So we always go with the HTTP method, which involves us logging into our cPanel dashboard, uh, accessing our file directory for WordPress, and then going ahead and creating the folders, uploading the file. So we're gonna go HTTP to verify our domain. So click on HTTP and it will load for you a user interface where you will get your instructions on how to verify the domain and also the verification file itself. So you'll see uh, step two, it says file one right next to the verify button. Click file one and download it, then go ahead and follow the verification steps. So what we have done is download a verification file and what we're going to do is log into our cPanel admin file manager in GoDaddy, uh, upload a file to the well-known Acme Challenge folders, which we're going to create in the file manager. So go to your GoDaddy dashboard, go to the hosting, and then load the cPanel admin. And we've linked a knowledge base article in the description below if you need instruction on how to access your cPanel file manager. And then also in our companion blog post, we discuss getting to where you need to go in great detail you don't need to use cPanel, you can use a plugin or you can use FTP as well, but we're gonna use cPanel in this example. So we have loaded the cPanel file manager in our GoDaddy uh, hosting setup. And what we're going to do is create a dot well known folder. Then within the dot well known folder, we're gonna create an Acme challenge folder. And then within that folder, we're gonna upload our verification file. Um, in this example, there's a dot well known folder already created. Uh, sometimes plugins will automatically create this folder for you. If it's not created, you can go ahead and hit the top button uh, that says plus folder and create a new folder. Also verify that you're in your WordPress directory and you can verify this by taking a look at wp-content, wp-admin, that's how you know you're in the right place. Uh, in this example, it's public-html slash demo, uh, but just make sure you're in the right file directory you can check uh, by looking at the folders and then create the well-known folder. And again, click the plus folder button if that doesn't exist and just create dot well dash known as a folder. Then go in there and you see the Acme challenge folder. Uh, this may or may not exist. If it doesn't exist, plus folder, create a new one and then navigate into there. Now what we're gonna do is take our file that we have generated with the SSL Zen application and upload it into cPanel. So under step two, see file one, download the file one, uh, and then upload it from your desktop onto cPanel. Uh, so we're gonna upload that file, and then we're gonna go back to cPanel, refresh and make sure that everything uploaded correctly. And then once we've verified that in cPanel, we're gonna head back to the SSL Zen app, click the blue verify button, and it will read and see if that is where it needs to be. If it's where it needs to be, the uh, domain will be successfully verified and you can go ahead and click the blue next button. All right, so now the SSL Zen application plugin has generated a free SSL certificate using Let's Encrypt. And these three files are what make up the SSL certificate. So we're gonna take all of these and install them into our cPanel dashboard. So we got three, we're gonna basically take the data from them, upload them into our cPanel account, uh, and then go ahead and verify that the SSL is installed and our website is secure. So now we're gonna navigate back to the cPanel admin dashboard under GoDaddy. And from there, we're going to type in the search bar of the cPanel admin dashboard. We're gonna type in SSL-TLS. And then we're gonna click on the corresponding icon that says SSL-TLS. And that will load the interface where we're going to uh, install our three components of the SSL certificate. So as you can see, we have private keys, certificate signing requests, certificates, and install and manage SSL for your site. Uh, and this is under the SSL-TLS page, which we have searched for on cPanel. What we're going to do is take each of the three files and upload them to the corresponding tabs. 
So in our SSL Zen user interface, we're going to go to the individual files and then click on the copy icon. Uh, and then that copy icon will toggle a interface within the plugin where you can copy and paste the data that makes up the certificate. So click on that button and up will pop the interface where we are going to simply click the copy button. And then we're going to paste those certificates into their respective areas. So both of the files that end with .crt will be uploaded to the certificate interface under uh, the cPanel SSL-TLS manager. So we're gonna just copy and paste them into the upload a new certificate area. And then for the private keys, we're simply going to do the same thing, except not under the certificate page, we're going to do it under the private key page. And it's just copy and paste it into the respective areas. Um, as you can see, certificates CRT and then private keys .key. Just click on those individual links, copy and paste uh, from the application into there. Click the blue upload button beneath it and you're good to go. And again, I'm going to go over this in depth with great screenshots in our blog post. So there's a link in the description below to access the blog post. Once we have uploaded the files correctly into our cPanel interface, all we're going to do is hit the blue next button uh, and then it will verify that the SSL certificate is properly installed and then it will change our website over to use the new secure protocol. So we've copy and pasted everything successfully and now it's time to switch everything over to use the SSL HTTPS secure protocol for transmitting data across your website. So all incoming HTTP requests will be converted to HTTPS, the S stands for secure. The site URL, home URL will be changed from HTTP to HTTPS, and then the insecure content will be fixed. You need to check off the, if I don't renew the SSL every 90 days, it will display a not secure warning. And that's just something that you need to do because the Let's Encrypt certificate expires every 90 days. If you have to pay for the premium version, it will automatically renew the certificate for you. If you're doing it the free way, you're gonna need to automatically, or not automatically, you're gonna need to manually uh, redo the SSL process every 90 days. Um, and again, there are other hosts other than GoDaddy who will do this, and you can pay if you don't wanna do that. So click the next button, and if everything is properly configured on all ends, what it's gonna do is log you out of your website. Uh, it's going to refresh the page and you will be greeted with a WordPress login screen that is secured with an SSL certificate. And you can check because that padlock up there changes from the red padlock to the normal padlock. And this is on Firefox, it looks different on different browsers, but that padlock shows that we are a secure website. Um, so this is the end of the process. You're logged out, you now have a secure website. I would recommend you toggle through all of the pages and make sure the SSL secure website has made the website secure. Uh, I forgot my password, but basically uh, the website's good to go. As, as long as that padlock up there is displaying the secure notice, so you could actually click on the padlock and make sure that everything's secure. And as long as it's saying HTTPS up there, then you have properly installed your SSL certificate for free, beat GoDaddy's $63.99 per year, got a free SSL certificate, all traffic is secured on your website, and you're good to go. So in review, get that SSL Zen plugin, follow the installation wizard. We also have our blog post linked in the description below. Uh, so install the SSL Zen Let's Encrypt Generated Certificate into the cPanel wizard. Uh, then go head back to your website, enable SSL, and if everything works properly, you'll be logged out and the padlock up there will change from not secure to secure. So I hope this uh, video showed you how exactly you can add a free SSL certificate to your website without having to go through GoDaddy uh, paying them $70 for something that is absolutely free. And again, uh, we don't really like GoDaddy. Pretty slow service. They try to con you into giving them $70 for a free product. Um, so if you're looking for somewhere to switch, switch over to Cloudways. They are our recommended hosting provider. 
use the link in the description below and the uh, and the code isotropic the coupon code isotropic for 30% off your first billing cycle um, and there's a three-day free trial so I, I would recommend you test that out if you are looking to get away from GoDaddy which I would be looking to get away from GoDaddy and uh, I hope this was a very helpful video for you questions comments concerns leave them below feel free to like and subscribe and check out that blog post that gives you a lot more in-depth screenshots stuff like that